changing the axial face seal. The pump can remain attached to the piping at the suction and pressure end when the main shaft seal is replaced, reducing valuable service hours and downtimes significantly. The service technician must detach the rotating unit and the interface between the bearing block and suction housing through the service window to change the main shaft seal. He must detach the rotating unit from the hollow shaft in the bearing block using ball screws. He must then reveal the interface between the bearing block and the suction housing. The bearing block is separated from the base frame. The service technician can now remove the bearing block and the gear motor from the pump. Lock the output shaft to prevent it from turning. The axial face seal screwed to the output shaft on the bearing block can only be accessed easily and removed using a face spanner. The shaft seals are always designed so that as many components as possible form a single unit to prevent assembly errors and allow easy handling as well as reduce assembly times. The service technician installs the new stationary unit. No measuring equipment is required to fit the axial face seals. All elements are designed with axial attachment points to prevent assembly errors. Now the drive with bearing block can be attached again. Slide back the bearing block with gear motor into working position. Secure the interface between the bearing block and the suction housing. Secure the complete rotating unit axially with the ball screws through the service window. And finally, close the service window. Assembly work is now complete.